But in the midst of this controversy, it is all too easy to forget that there are real people grieving and a family struggling to deal with the tragic death of their teenage son. You know, one of the things that I think is important here is that we can't let the political firestorm overshadow the loss that this young man's family is going through right now. The grief uh, that they can only hope one day to overcome. So joining us is uh, Leslie Max Batten. This is uh, Michael's mom. Leslie, welcome. Take me back to the day. I was at work and I got a phone call that someone had been shot by my mother's house. I instantly just felt a deepening in my chest and um, my line clicked and it was my sister's number. And um, I clicked over. And before she could say anything, she was crying. And um, she said, they shot my man. And I didn't ask any questions because I just wanted to not even think that he was dead at all. And the first thing I saw, they let me know What's the yellow tape? And that's why I just can't understand why it happened to my child. Because there are too many great officers in this country, too many great soldiers, too many great firemen, but there's a human element to this that we have to look at very close. Could you imagine losing your child to a defenseless act? No matter how hard you cry, no matter the pain, they ain't coming back. Could you imagine living with the grief of what the family go through? Most search for right answers of why, don't know what to do nor have a clue. The man who I loved more than anybody on earth held a gun to my head and threatened to kill me more times than I can even remember. I'm here to tell you the story of crazy love, a psychological trap disguised as love, one that millions of women and even a few men fall into every year. Women are not made to be beat, feeling abandoned, left laying in a street. Putting your hands on a woman is a huge disgrace. Men, what if you had knuckles in your face? The Bible says that you don't spare the rod, but understand your kids are gifts from God. Punish your children if you feel the need. But you don't whip them until they bleed. No more racial profiling. Remember, no means no. We need to stop all the gang fighting. We need to stop the racism. We need to stop the domestic abuse. We need to stop the child abuse. What happens when you don't stop? Your choices are limited when you don't feel safe, even when you call the cops. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Wake up!